There we go. That's how simple it is. Okay. So here we go. Had to be faster for you guys. Um, what I like to do then is to go and work this. I have 2a cubed minus 2a squared minus 12a. Are you seriously not going to be making fun of my flat lines? Okay. So what we're going to look at for this problem is remember, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we want to do, um, if you guys think about this, is um, when we're trying to factor, trying to make sure my head's all right, uh, well, we're going to go and factor, right? We practice on factoring by uh, trinomials and so forth. But the first thing we always want to look into factoring is always want to see if there's something that we can pull out, right? Or something that we can factor out, what we call the GCF, GCF right? Which is um, George, which is George Christmas Franklin, factor out the GCF. So when you look at these, is what do they share? <laughs> So what is the what is the GCF? Yes, two A. Two A. Two A. Yes, because they all share a two and they all share an A. So therefore, you can say two A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each term by my GCF. When I divide each term by my GCF, I'm now going to have um, let's see, we're going to have an A squared minus A, then minus six, and that's going to be multiplied by a two A. So now I have completed factored. I am writing it now as a product. Right? But then we want to look at this. Can we, re can we factor this even further? Can we factor this trinomial? You say, what two, numbers of, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 6, but then add to give you negative 1? And then you can look at that, and you can say, yeah, or negative 3 and positive 2. So you could say a minus 3 times a plus 2. So therefore, that's going to be the completely factored form. All right? What did you say? Oh. <laughs> 